it's kind of like my bunker. You know, when, when you are in this kind of position, there is a lot of loneliness. So I'm kind of going out. Then I come here and I feel protected again. For 11 years, I didn't have an office. And one of a sudden, it occurred to me, why not? I don't know, everything else is like very white and very colorful and all day long I'm just dealing with colors and words and stories. And I needed to make a place where there is no color whatsoever. And I just made it all dark, all black, and maybe from a black hole I will have a better perspective. So I feel very comfortable in the dark. Everything here is like pretty like clean and clinical and quite perfect. But then I throw everything in the closets, everything I don't want to see. Not like in life, you know, in life I'm dealing with everything, but here every problem I have I just throw to the closet. I have so many things in my head, so many questions and doubts and ideas and things I have to, to do and people I have to speak and meetings I have to go through. My head is so messy that I cannot get any more messy around me. I'm always saying that when designers come, like me, to a house that has already like a history, a tradition, there are two ways. Either you break everything and you start all over again, or you ask the most essential questions like, why are they still alive? And let me keep that and continue it. So rather than destroying, I'm trying to think that I'm more of a builder. I'm pretty much a workaholic. I spend very, very long hours. I come Saturday, I come Sundays. I always feel more comfortable here. It's the only place, you know, I think, that I feel skinny and beautiful. I mean, the moment I get out from my office, I feel I worth nothing. I know, I mean, I'm so not, not athletic. I don't like the sun. I hate the sand. I don't like vacation. I don't do all of that. I don't bike even. And here I feel I'm like, I know everything. So it's easier. When I enter the office here in the morning, I have the same feeling I enter my home at night. I don't feel, okay, now I'm working and now I'm not, and now I'm not working and now I am. It's, it's one. But at the same time, I wouldn't be able to live upstairs. I heard that Diane von Furstenberg lives upstairs of her studio. Just the idea that everybody is up and I'm like, no, I can't, no.